Hey guys, it's Kevin from Mix Coach. I'm inside the drum room here at the tracking room, and this is where the percussionist was. We had two sets of stereo mics, one set over here, if you can see them. Yeah, one set of stereo mics here for the timpanis, and then we had another set of stereo mics over here by what we call the toys and extra percussion. That's where the suspended cymbals were and things like that. And then uh, this 57 over here is a talkback mic, actually. I think it's that one right there is a talkback mic. But anyway, that's just a little tour of the inside of the room. What I wanted to tell you on this episode of the Mix Coach Minute is when you're doing a session like this, make sure that you uh, leave your ego at the door. I mean, it would. I don't get to do um, as many orchestral sessions as I would like to. Uh, so this is the first one I've done in several months. So when I was getting ready for this session, I was sure to call the people my resources, the guys that I knew knew what they were talking about. And the, the uh, engineer friend of mine, her name is Melissa, and I'm hoping to get an interview with her. Melissa tracked the other part of this orchestral session. And so I called her. I said, hey, this is Kevin, and I'm tracking this orchestral session that you did the first part of. Do you mind telling me how you set everything up? So I was, uh, you know, I left my ego at the door. It would have been, you know, easy for an engineer to come in and say, you know, I'm going to do this better than, than the other person does and try to show them off. But really it's, you know, your ego can, can work against you in situations like that. So another situation that I did was I called the studio and I asked for the uh, assistant engineer that she recommended. And uh, he was able to, he actually canceled something for me. And then, you know, when we were setting up, he asked me how I'd like to set up. And I said, I would like to set up just like Melissa did. Um, and so he did. And when I walked in the studio yesterday, yesterday was Sunday, walked in the studio, everything was pretty much set up. So I didn't have to start from ground zero. I didn't have to figure out exactly how I liked the mics. Now, what I did today was when I recorded, you know, I made mental notes of that mic really sounds good on the French horns or that mic really, uh, I would use another mic on the room or something like that. Not that I would because everything sounded awesome. But anyway, I learned a lot because I left my ego at the door. Now, uh, usually when people will assist you, they will see you as the person who calls all the shots. And, you know, if you are better than anyone at everything else, then by all means call all the shots. But you probably won't learn as much that way if you do it that way. So the the subject of this Mix Coach Minute today is like when you're trying to learn to be an excellent engineer, leave your ego at the door because people will inform people who are not cocky about what they do. So I definitely came into this session with my hat in my hand, glad to be here. I want to be a servant. I want to make sure that everybody who is here is glad that I'm engineering. And and I think they were. As a matter of fact, I had a few people to come up and say, um, I need to get your number. And it wasn't because I tried to reinvent the wheel either. It was because I used the assets that were offered to me and the, the assets that I actually you know, sought out. So when you're trying to get better as an engineer, as a producer, don't, don't be cocky. Leave your ego at the door and you'll learn a whole lot more. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, leave your ego at the door and you'll learn a whole lot more. You already hear it mixed coach first. So anyway, uh, the Carnage guys are coming in here to load out this stuff, so I'm going to get out. Uh, check out five things every day. Mix your nose over on Mix Coach, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Mix Coach Minute. Thanks for watching. Bye.